This is a Big Facts Network exclusive. Yo, another episode of the Big Homie's House. Got some homies in the building. Got, uh, of course, Big Homie Honey back in the building. How you feeling? I'm great. Phenomenal. You're amazing. Excellent. Sensational. All that mm-hmm. good All stuff. That. Mm-hmm. Yeah. My dog, Jay Carp. What's up, gang? Back in the building. What's up, bro? You, you feeling doing? good? Yeah, I'm good, bro. How hey, good? hey, hey. We here. You know, you know, feeling good, looking better. Yeah, the homies <laughs> in the building. Now, I got a question off the top of my head. You know, uh, of course, shout out my dog, Jay Carp. He got the, uh, just one random shout out, got his financial service, uh, financial what do you get you're, that you're, now. you're uh, 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 accountant, accountant tech, tech yeah, accountant, yeah. I tried accountant, to put business everything business. in one thing, but he do a lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. I appreciate you, bro. Yeah, financial services. Yes, yeah. thank you, bro. Yeah, I appreciate for sure, you for sure, for sure. And of course, Smooch Loves Honey podcast. Yeah, hey y'all, that's me. sensational. Yeah, but I had this this question because uh, this popped off from uh, we was talking about it a little bit in an earlier episode. And I, when I posted this clip, people got mad at me. Well, women got mad at me about this. But I said it's unrealistic to expect the things that happen on the first date or the things that happen when the man is courting you to be consistent throughout. Like, it happened every time during the relationship. What do you think about that? I'm blowing up. Um, Like what? As far as what? Okay. Uh, Like, say, for instance, on the first date, you go to Ruth Chris or like mm-hmm. some nice steakhouse. Mm-hmm. But on the second date, you know, you may go to Maggiano's or Longhorn. Do you we expect to go Longhorn. to Ruth Chris? Do you expect to go to Ruth Chris every time <laughs> you go on a, go out on a date? Longhorn's nasty. Huh? Do you expect to go to Ruth Chris every time you go out on a date? I'm a foodie, so uh, we're going to go wherever the food leads my tummy. Mm. But it's not, but you, it's not expected that you're gonna get that same treatment that you got on the first date on every other date. Hey, uh, hell yeah, it is. What you, I don't, I don't, I don't, maybe I'm miss. I'm not really understanding the question here. Well, the question is, if you get a super, if you take you to a super nice restaurant, okay. the first date, okay, do you expect to go to super nice restaurant every time every we go on a date? Exactly. No. That's what I'm asking. No, nah, yeah. I, don't, I don't expect that. That's no. what I'm, I, I, I said that's unrealistic, but then the the, but, the women I was talking to was like, oh, you, you got her used to something, and then you can't maintain it. Bitch, what? You don't even go to that every time you go out. But I think I think what I think where I get confused is, like, a lot of dudes introduce chicks to a body that they can't maintain. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Like, they'll be in Ruth Chris two, three times a week, prime, uh, house, but by the third month, they like... Ah, uh, yeah. No, that's you know? the, that's, so that's yeah. where they mess up at. You feel yeah. me? Yeah. Like, I feel like the first one, yeah, you show out the first date. No, that's the problem. No, 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 no. What? You don't. You don't show out the first date. The first food date? No. So you, I can take you to Chili's the first date? The first, we're going to agree to a mutual. I don't eat Chili's on my own, so I'm not going to eat Chili's with you. But we can agree to a mutual place. But if you can't. Do exactly what he just said. Like you set in the bar too high, knowing that, that is you unrealistic. You can't. But you, that's what a lot of these do. That's though. what they do. That's like you did. doing too much. That 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 is unrealistic. But at the same time, if you fall for that, like if you, if if that's what you like, right? Are you with me because you like me, or are you with me because we go house Ruth Chris all this other every time we go out? Well, you should have said you shouldn't have did too much <laughs> on the first time because I like going to Ruth Chris all the time. <laughs> You shouldn't have set the standard so high. You got to think about it because if women, if 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 I go on a date with, what's your name? Justin. Justin. I go on a date with Justin and me and Justin go to, what you said, Prime? Prime on yeah. Peachtree. Prime, or on, Prime on Peachtree. Mm-hmm. We go there all the time. We go to nice restaurants all the time. That's what That's the standard the has been set right. for him when I'm dating him. Now, if I go on a date with you and you go, we go to the same places mm-hmm. and then... That's what I'm used to. Those are the guys I'm used to dating. Mm. So now when you can't do it, it's like. So are you dating for the vibe or the person? It just all depends on. It all depends on the person. Let me let me flip it, right? Let me flip it. Like, say I go out with a chick first date, right? Uh huh. She sucked my dick. Okay. The first date. All right. I'm not going to be. I'm not going to trip if I don't get the second date. Because if I like her, I'm here for her. I'm not here because she sucked my dick. I don't know, because if you give me hit on the first day, and yeah, I, can, I want something. <laughs> I want that is the whole thing, bro. That I was a lie. bad, that was a bad <laughs> you one. Set, maybe set, you maybe it's just me. You, you get what I'm saying? Maybe it's just me. You set me. the vibe you already. Set the vibe so, already. How we start like... is how I'm expecting this to end. We may go to a little 
one, two, maybe a, a little low class. See that's, but see, that, see, that's why men feel like they need to break the bank for the first day. I that's don't... why I, and I feel like that's why you shouldn't. I feel like park, if I, if I want dates. you, if I want you to not look at me like all the rest of the girls, I'm not going to come at you like all the rest of the girls. So if you want me to not look at you like all the rest of the niggas, what do niggas be doing? All the time, they, how much? What do I got to? But if that's what you used to, you're not going to respond to nothing else. But what I'm saying is if you don't lead like that, I'm not going to look at you like all the rest of the guys. So don't lead with no money. Don't. If that's not what you about to keep giving up, no. I'm not about to lead with no pussy because I'm not about to keep giving it up. I'm going to give you some when I, when I want to. <laughs> okay. So, therefore, give her some money when you want to. Don't leave with your money because she's going to always even talk, be We're not even talking about money. But this, I, 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 bring, I keep bringing it back to this. If that is what you fall in love with, you fell in love with the vibe. You ain't fall in love with me. Well. I'm just a, a participant. I'm just a provider for you in that role. So, it don't matter who you're getting it from. This is what you want. That ain't true because I could be not getting it. I could go, you can do all that extra expensive stuff for me, and then Jess can do some mediocre stuff, but I really like Jess. That's what I was going to say, too, though. No, that's she got a point. But that's what I'm saying. If you like the guy, it don't matter what he doing for you. Right, if the if the if the, if the girl the girl's got to like you, bro. Yeah, like, if she it. don't like you, that's she going to run you that's around the ring. That's what I've been saying the whole like, time. Yeah, like, that's what I've been saying the whole time. Like, well, you should have said that because I ain't hear that. Y'all rewind and, the tape. Uh, apparently, all the rest of the ladies didn't hear it either. No, because a lot of them <laughs> didn't hear it either. <laughs> well, Justin just said what I've been saying. Yeah, but he he ain't hear that. I the hear first that. Thank you. Listen, but, yeah, but that's, she just that, got like you, bro. That's, that's, that's that, at the end. Yeah, at the end of the day, because all this other internet shit really don't matter. Like, right. you can tell. Like, as, as a guy, I'm pretty. You can attest to it. As a guy, you know, like when a woman has been socialized by the internet. Like, absolutely. Like, mm-hmm. oh. This is what you think real love is? Oh, you don't think a, a guy love you unless he do A, B, and C? All right, yeah, you, you just learned how to be in relationships from the city girls. and like right. Not necessarily because you do have men who have daughters who set the standard very high. That's true. I've seen this with my own eyes, and Talk, I'd be t- like, girl, that ain't, I ain't had no daddy, so <laughs> I ain't talking about me, y'all. But I'm, I'm talking about what you've seen. I've seen, they daddies be setting the standard high, now, and they daddies will tell you, you don't mess with no guy who can't do nothing for you. You can't call on him for nothing. All he want to do is put dick in you. you well, that's different. No, 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 no. I no. agree because that's different. But you take you growing up like that and your daddy has always been there for you and you've been accustomed to, I call my dad when I need this. What does that teach your daughter? Yeah, and when real. as she, when she get older, when it comes down to these men, if a man can't do nothing for me and I can't count on him, I can't call him for nothing. What I'm doing with you? Yeah, that makes sense. You yeah. get what I'm saying? It is some chicks out here like that. And they be spoiled right. They be spoiled right. Yeah. That's Ryan. what they be saying. Beware of a, a, a lady with a daddy they, that's bald head. But listen, they they those women <laughs> aren't gonna. They that's it. <laughs> them women aren't gonna be finessed by that. Just showing them money though. They not, but they standards are going to be I'm higher. Not, oh, and let me say that I'm not saying a woman shouldn't have standards. I'm not saying that at all. What I'm saying is, if all it takes is for to show up with gifts, then you can be bought. Yeah, you can for sure. Absolutely. For sure. Yeah, but as a man, it, like when and if I have a daughter, I'm gonna tell the same. I don't be with no nobody that's doing nothing for you. I see that now when 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 I'm talking to other women and I'm like, damn. Your baby daddy a loser. <laughs> you, you had a baby with this? Yeah, you want me to episode, you want yeah. me to take you serious? Like, no, no, I I don't think we really take women. My, ba- my baby daddy, my baby daddy's a losers. And my man take me very serious. Hey, that was his prerogative. I'm just saying. That was his prerogative. If they I think your I, if I think your baby daddy a loser, I'm not really gonna take you serious on that romantic. Like, I can't do that. Because why would you entertain in this? In my defense, I was young. <laughs> That's I was young. How, how young is young? I was 14. Oh, oh yeah, that, that, that 14, 16, 18. Yeah. That, that don't yo, count. That, that, that don't count. You got to count the, my kids yeah. like them, when I'm 25. Them baby daddies don't count. They don't yeah, yeah, count. Them baby daddies yeah. don't count. When, so, yeah, so, so baby daddies start counting when you like 21. <laughs> No, nah, like nah, 25. Nah, when you like 25. 25? Yeah. Like, like, you old enough to know, like, y'all. Yeah, yeah like, 21, 21 is still, control, like, like, like... You childish. Yeah, 21 yeah. is still, you like... You just started drinking. You get what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Legally. Right. And then right. You, think, <laughs> and you think you're grown, so people mm-hmm. don't really be telling mm-hmm. you... Sh- people can't really tell you shit. By 24, you know better. Yeah, so yeah. if you have a if you have a bullshit baby daddy at 25, mm-hmm. yeah, you yeah. you made that choice. But yeah, if you have a bullshit baby at 18... You young. Yeah. You don't know. You don't know 
really he really just took advantage of you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah he was an idiot. He was an idiot too. Yeah, they took advantage of me. So them they don't count. Y'all yeah. don't count. Yeah. <laughs> I really don't got no bad daddies. I just mysteriously had kids. Yeah, you just, I'm married. You just you just spawned the kid. You hatched the kid. Like, right. They came out like poop. Yeah, like poop damn, what happened to this? <laughs> yeah. But now, nah, um, if 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 an do if I have if I have a daughter and and she's dating, um, I would definitely tell her to be with somebody who's providing for her. I wouldn't tell her to be with no loser. Yeah. Like And I'm and I'm gonna be as transparent as possible. How transparent about what? Like, you gonna wanna stay away from who I may or may not have been back then. Like these are the type of niggas you need to look out for. Yeah. Like so you're not you know impressed by because you know the game, you don't yeah. play it. So it's like you ain't impressed by a nigga with no bread, you ain't impressed by a nigga trying to fly you out, buy you no shit, cause your pops did it for you yeah. already. You know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to be transparent as possible. Yeah. And you could tell like what the with women who kinda didn't grow up with that father figure presence, mm-hmm. cause they are they are super impressed by that shit. Like Oh my god. Oh my god, he flew me to Girl, Miami. Miami? Bitch, what that flight was seventy six dollars. You like, oh, he took, he bought you a bottle. It was like, I, and I, that's another thing too. The, the shit that impresses certain women is it be mind blown, bro. Like, it, it is a super turn off to it's me. Mind blown. Like the bar is so low for men. I, I, I hate to like blow up our spot like that, but damn, men really don't got to do shit. Yeah, All the you, bar is low. If you semi try them having some motion. You halfway or in the you door. Or you look like you got motion. Or you look like you got, yeah, that's the biggest thing. You look like you got motion, you halfway in the door. Yeah, for but, and by the time she find out, she got down. Done got, late. got. Eight, mm-hmm. mo- eight months pregnant. Gotcha. Yep. Yeah, she don't find <laughs> gotcha, out. Bitch. Got, <laughs> gotcha, bitch. Gotcha. So, so, what type of traps are women falling for, honey? Oh, I don't know. I don't do that. I don't I'm not care. saying you. I'm saying the things you see your I'm peers go for. I'm just, I'm just playing. I don't fell for a couple. Um, well, what traps have you fell for? Tell us. We need a, a words, word of caution. Words. Words. You, you, I, a very valuable lesson. You just don't worry, bitch. What is his actions saying? Because niggas, niggas do be slick talking. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> they, ooh, ooh, them words be sounding so good. What they, what your grandma used to call them? Sweet nothings. <laughs> sweet nothings. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. They fall for sweet nothings. I fell for, for some sweet nothings too, but I yeah. know better now. So, bitch, can't get me. Mm. Don't play with me. Yeah. But, um, you know. The guy who I'm dating now, before we got exclusive, sh- I showed a picture of him to one of the, the girls who I used to talk to. And she was like, oh, bitch, he got money. Mind you, he wasn't flashing no money, no nothing. You know what he had on? He had on a necklace, a Cuban link, and he was in the, what's the what's the car with the, uh, this how you know it. The drop top. Oh, shit. The, uh, <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> the car with the stars uh, in, uh, in, uh, in, Rose in the top. Rose Royce. Yeah, yeah. He was in a Rose Royce. Mm. That's it. He was just in the Rolls Royce and he had on the Cuban link. He was growing well, had on whatever he a jersey. It wasn't like no, it, whatever. But mm. it was just like a jersey. And this girl was like, "He got money, bitch. Bitch, what? How you know he got money? Cause he in a Rolls Royce and he got on the Cuban link. He got money. Now he do got money, but right, I feel what you're saying. Just based off of how he looked, you just gonna At assume moment, he got yeah. money. Yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah. Bitch, you will fall for anything. Yeah, definitely. Hit with that fifty two figure. <laughs> What? Easy. Well, a rental. You get what I'm saying? Nigga, rent a right. Rolls Royce. Yeah. Get one of the little Cuban links, that, the fake ones that they be wearing. Yeah, that's just, yeah. and Man, I got one of them in my bag right now. You get yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I use it for photo shoots. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. And now all of a sudden, he got money. Yeah, now, bitch, it. you ain't got God. But that's Atlanta. That's Atlanta for real, for real. I, yeah. Because I feel like the place Atlanta, like, okay, I used to work at TMZ, right? So I, I was doing, you remember I was doing TMZ? Yeah, I, I remember. So, uh, I used to post up at Linux all day, right? I don't know everybody, but I do know some people. But the thing about Atlanta is everybody look like they somebody. Mm-hmm. Yeah, everybody so if so I'm in Linux, this. like, chilling, like, yeah, who that is? This is a group of niggas. All of them got on Cubans. Oh, they ain't shit. Them high school niggas. That's how it be. Mm-hmm. But if you're, like, say if you a, a girl coming to Atlanta, you come from, like, I don't know, Mississippi or some lame ass spot, like, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> or Kentucky, like some spot where you're no not. No shade in Mississippi. <laughs> yeah, no shade. It's some big motherfuckers in Mississippi. <laughs> but like, say you come from a spot where people ain't really like own like that for yeah. real, for real. You, you come you, to Atlanta you back in 2008. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah you yeah, come to Atlanta, you see ball. all this. Mm-hmm. What? You think? Oh my god! I, and then, oh, then they get the name dropping. 
Nigga love the name drop. Yeah. I done worked with so and so. I'm so and so my man. Mm-hmm. They be crazy. They got four PF in their uh their Instagram name. Yeah, it ain't even just it ain't even Mississippi. It, you go as far as Augusta and Midland. Mm-hmm. Even in Florida, like you go up to Jacksonville and go up to or Tampa, like up in Smart. there, like yeah. Oh, yeah. some hick towns in Florida too, yeah, like that. Hell yeah. Oh, the Miami boys come up. Oh, they, they go down to Miami. Oh, they go down to Miami. Miami and, <laughs> girl, that is JoJo. JoJo yeah. ain't got no money. Yeah. That shit crazy, bro. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I feel it. I it's feel all it. a facade. Yeah. You look just like a female. She put on a nice wig, nice little dress, put on a little costume, jewelry, right. nice shoes. She go. But outside. don't nobody expect the women to have like. Yeah. Yeah, but you expect the bitch to have something. I, Come on, I expect you're, her you're, to. I, I, I would I would like her to. Right. I would like bro, her to. Like, but at the same could, time, and, niggas ain't just. But you could she could she could look like she got it all together. Oh, absolutely. And whatever. And then when you find out that this bitch stay at Holy my auntie's house oh, on the couch, it's like <laughs> again, right? Yo, it'd be bad work all around. That's it. That's Atlanta too. Like, oh yeah, you, you saw that. On your head. Oh, it was on my head. Mm-hmm. Damn. It's leaving some little droplets on you. Might have some little fly babies. <laughs> <laughs> little fly baby, get the fuck out of here, fly. <laughs> Random ass fly. But uh, Justin, what are some things women can look out for? Cause you you're the financial guy, so you know who really be, be to, having it for real. What to look out for as far as what? Like niggas staying, for, yeah, niggas that's capping. I don't know, man. I mean, this this I don't know. Cause you know what real money look like. So I would say like. Y'all gotta really understand what the carp new- tax info right now. How to spot a capper? <laughs> I mean, for me, just being in the line of business I'm in, right? So I see people's situations from all walks of life, right? Mm-hmm. But as but as far as like dudes, man, you you okay? Yeah, you might see all the fly shit, right? Like you might see the car, you might see the clothes. Nigga might be a merry head to toe, but you gotta really look deep into like really get to know that nigga. Like, what what do he do? You know yeah. what I'm saying? Whether it's legally or illegally or like what do he own? Yeah. I mean, once you get into start getting into like what a nigga own, you start to realize, okay, the nigga probably get money, but he got that shit put up too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's how you gotta you know, differentiate just yeah. cause anybody can make think about the pandemic. Man, I seen niggas walking around with twenty, hundred, two hundred thousand dollars. Yeah. It was hot, you feel me? But it was one of them ones where I don't know. You just got to see where nigga head at. Like, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, everybody can get bread for real, but you got to really, like, look past the, like, like she was saying, the clothes, the cars, and stuff like that. <clears throat> and you, I feel like we got to get out of the habit of looking at what people doing on social media as, like, a barometer for how successful they, mm-hmm. they are. Because one thing, <clears throat> one thing that I be doing, like, in my, in my spare time, I be looking at YouTube videos, and I love, like, seeing scammers get caught. That shit is so funny. Because scammers think they are smarter than everybody else. You want to know what I hate about scammers? Not to cut you off. Go ahead. I I ain't gonna lie. You know what I'm saying? The shit that be blowing me, like, I'm familiar with a few people that's in that lane, right? You know, it's like they're scammed for the wrong shit. Like, for example, if you, like, I know dudes that are scammed, just get a chain, go buy a section for the weekend, go throw money at the strip club. But. Uh, let's say I hit a nigga like, yo, bro, I need about twenty thousand dollars worth of material for Home Depot. I got ten grand for you. Oh, bro, I gotta see my shit ain't working, my pieces ain't hitting. Yeah. I'm like, bro, you in a way for real, for yeah. real. Like, that's my you a only. That's a that's a lot of dudes, bro. Like, I like, bro, y'all doing it all and, wrong. I'm trying to cash you out ten grand. And I'm not even advocating for scamming, but I feel right. like if you gonna scam, advocate. but if you gonna scam, Do you should right. be at least be able to like scam that ten thousand and turn it to fifty. And then Do it right, bro. Like, at this point, only thing I don't like about scams is the fact that y'all be poor for real. Not facts. Other than that, if I knew how to <laughs> bust the wool, oh, I'm too scared. Baby. I'm scared. Yeah, I'm too. I ain't, I'm, I ain't, I ain't yeah, yeah you, you can't do it. I can't do I'm, that. I'm he, too scared. He scared. can't do it because he, him, him. He does it. He does. He does he, yeah, he got a real job. People, yeah. real job, people, shit. But the more and more, the older, older I get, the more and more prices and shit go up. Mm. I see why though. I see why. <laughs> I see why. If I was, if I yeah. knew how to do the shit, and I don't, but if I did, I would not be scamming for no fucking section and no. Diamond chains and no, they go do no CPN and get no Mercedes. No, 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 no. Man, Mm-mm. look. By the time y'all know that I was scamming, I already done got out of that shit. Out of here. And I'm legit. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Like y'all no, be scamming for too fucking long for y'all to be. Yo, still broke. 35 plus, still going from play to play. Like I got dudes I know that's still in there. They just like you know 
Like they they just they trying to get out, but they just still the, it's the same like scam, cycle. Scamming like, scamming kind of like stripping. Like Cause, cause strippers don't be they don't be wanting to retire. Some of them don't be wanting to retire. But they can't retire. Cause they be, they fucked up all the that money, money though, the bro. whole time. Trust me, I know plenty of strippers, bro. A lot of strippers like 33, 35, 36, still stripping, bro. Should there be like an age limit on on doing on, on stripping well, or, yeah. or like? I mean, I don't know. I, I don't th- feel like it's an age, age limit. limit. Right. I feel like it's just a preference, right? Kind of thing. But it, yeah, some it's, people it's, be it's, into old, old, you know. It's yeah, almost right, like that, right, like gentlemen's club mm-hmm. type shit. Yeah. I'm like, damn, you still doing this though? I do be looking at some some girls from my city. I be like, bitch, you still they stripping? Still stripping. <laughs> you still stripping? Like I would think that it's one of them things that you did because it was like quick money, easy money, but you was you like to put it out. into something and. Yeah, that's what I thought. Every day, that's their job. I'm thinking like, damn, like. Yeah, because I don't even want to be doing this shit for real. And I like my job. I feel I, I don't even got to take my clothes off. I like I like talking shit I for just, a living. I just want to go and be on an island somewhere. And just... I want my own island. Hey, I want to travel mm-hmm. two times that's a year, it, yeah. six months apiece. <laughs> you get what I'm real saying? Shit. That's it. I was about to say two times a year. Oh, shit, six months apiece? This, this nigga want to live. This nigga want to live. Where you at, Justin? Oh, 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 I'm over here in Italy. I'm yeah. out. I'll be in Brazil next week. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. What you need? Yeah, holler my girl in the Philippines. She'll get you right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, next question. Um, <clears throat> uh, I It's really for you. I feel like... I feel like body positivity movement, I feel like that shit is just for women because women don't be fucking with short niggas. I my yeah. boyfriend short, so. <laughs> He's shorter than you? Yeah. You gave that short king a chance? Yeah. yeah. That, yeah that How's that working for you? It's going, it's going good? Mm-hmm. That is, that's my man. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. He what, like five? I think he five, seven and a half. Okay. <laughs> Put the half on. Only, only short niggas be using the and a half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He five seven and a half, and yeah. I'm five nine. Is that does that like cause any conversations in public? Like, do you have to alter what you wear? Um, do you wear heels around him? I used to feel. I used to be insecure about it, but he For never real? was. Yeah, oh. like I used to be insecure about being tall. Period. Now I'm like, oh, thank God I'm tall because the bitch be eating. You know, my weight is proportioned differently. But I, uh, <laughs> I used to be insecure about that. So when getting with him, I was insecure about wearing certain stuff. But he's like, man, put that shit on. I don't care about none yeah, of that. Yeah, no, facts. So, That's the right there. Yeah. But that pos- body positivity stuff, what was the question? I, was about to say <laughs> I, said some just, other shit. I said it's just from women. Meaning, men don't really get the benefit of of the body positivity movement. Cause no, if you're, cause don't nobody want no short ass nigga. Nobody want no short ass nigga. No neck ass niggas. No. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Y'all see what they did that nigga yeah. with no neck or the yo. They roasted his ass. Like, Damn, don't do me he like. said I can't get in. <laughs> hey, hey, he at least I'm got. Trying to fuck too. He, he at least got a sense of humor. <laughs> he do. Nah, for real. He, he played that like But a that chat. alone yeah, yeah, will facts, get him facts. in the door. Absolutely. With somebody, it will cause we somebody. Go, with bro, somebody. if you funny, bro. Nah, that shit is that shit too disrespectful. I feel, I feel like, like they go up there just to violate. I feel, yeah, like, I feel just like if violate. you if, if if you a guy and you do uh, a balloon joint, like you really setting yourself up for failure. Oh yeah. Cause why would I give these motherfuckers the uh, the? I'm not even gonna give you room to judge me, especially because all them all the all the girls on that I wouldn't even pick. None of them. None of them. Bruh. Mm-mm-mm. Trash as hell. And I'm a funny nigga, so yeah, you say something like, slick to me, I'll come right back. You pop, you, <laughs> we go laugh at that Imagine you walking in the room and pop, 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 pop. We got uh, another guest in the building. Love, that's you. This me? Love I Dorsey. <laughs> Live and in, in the flesh. Bi- yeah, in the flesh. How you feeling? I feel good. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. It's Welcome. always good. To Welcome. Be How you doing? How you doing? What's up? We was talking about uh, these these uh, balloon pop shows on social media. That shit is uh that shit is uh humiliating. Oh yeah. That shit's humiliating, bro. I'm not about to let you sit here and now, judge me. Did you me. see the one where the girl, the girl came on there with the um she had on some bullshit. She was a little thicker on the thicker side. Oh, she hit and, the dude? Nah, she aired all the niggas just <laughs> boo, 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 boo. I was like, damn, y'all do friend they like that. Right, yo. Yeah, nah, nah, nah. They're not right at all. They're not right at all. Love Dorsey, what I, you what you got I, go, what you got I going like on? It. I like them shows. You like them? It's interesting. Would you be on one? 
Yeah, I'll I go on one just uh, to you, entertain you. Brave. Yeah. Like, you are well, brave. I'm, I'm going to tell you why I like it, right? Because if you you know the, the context of what I talk about all the time, I feel like it shows how we really look at each other. Mm-hmm. And so for me, it's people exposing how they really think, if, even if they ain't what they're trying to do. That's you know true. what I mean? Like they go. It shows how shallow a well, lot of people, people are. It people should, should be able to be like. I should be able to be shallow. I should be able you to facts. be. You are how facts, I am yeah. without like y'all being like, oh, you. Right. You get what I'm saying? Like you I went dating a nigga prob- no neck J. I went dating him for real. <laughs> you like, are, but the problem is most people in their everyday life try to act like they mm-hmm. not shallow. Yep. Right. That's the yep. point. That's it why really I'm saying it's that, that be the issue. because. Yeah. Yep. People, male and female, they try to act like they ain't really judging off of just the body uh-huh. or just how you look or just what you got on or what you do. But in all reality, we walk around just like that. You mm-hmm. just real enough to say, like, I should be able to be like that. Most most people not trying to say this is how I am. Like, I picked to be mean for real. my peoples or my mm-hmm. baby daddy or my husband off of these particular things and everything else I kind of cross my fingers. Yeah. <laughs> and hope. Yeah, yeah because that's, that's really what it's... them show, them little... Balloon pop shows is showing, like yeah. But some people don't got room to be shallow. Oh, facts. That, that, uh, some people, and that's on both yeah. sides, man. So, yeah. Oh yeah, oh, definitely, on both, side, definitely on both sides. But definitely on both sides, like shit. They I, ain't have to do that Ninja Turtle man like that. Ninja Turtle man. The Ninja Turtle man. And Ninja Turtle was like you look like a turtle, and he was like you don't qualify anyway, love. Oh, what? Yeah, oh, didn't yeah, didn't oh, he, yeah. he got get exposed being like a scammer? I read that online. I, was, I thought he was a plumber. He got fired from his. Hey, job. You don't make that much money being no goddamn plumber. Not that much. He said he would bring us millions in. Oh, yeah. Yeah, from what I see, he was a plumber. But, I mean, I, like I said, I think it shows, like, I mean, he probably never got females' real perspective. And I, I ain't saying it's like I know him or know that he haven't. But most of them people on there, including people like him, you probably never had females just tell you flat out. That's your moment to kind of, mm-hmm. really, if you got some sense, you will, like, take heed to it to a certain extent. Like, some of them, you could tell people just on there for their five minutes of fame. Like, Facts. I'm hoping to make this go viral in this moment. Mm-hmm. But overall, like, if you go on there, a lot of them be telling people what is true about their aesthetics. And yeah. so if you really into self-improvement, you will listen to that shit. And if it ain't mm-hmm. what you like, go, and, go work on that or if not. <laughs> that shit was funny, he, he was a cocky motherfucker. He ain't receive That's shit. what I'm saying. He listen. didn't receive it. But if you got some sense, it. like. Mm-hmm. Women don't like when a nigga uh, confident about himself, though. That shit is a turn off to a lot of women. I think to, I, I, to I, basic I like, females it is. Yeah, it's a lot of basic. Like, it's like a lot that. of basic women out here. You can't get in, especially on a platform like that. I don't think women. I, I don't think too many women that's like. That's a good point. Yeah, I don't think too many women that go on there are like. Not basic. The mo- most motherfuckers be basic. Yeah. I think it's how you say it because I've seen some episodes of that balloon pop stuff where there have been some men with integrity and class about themselves, so to mm-hmm. speak, and when the women pop their balloon and they get asked why and they say why you don't see them like popping off firing back like yeah. you don't qualify they not doing all that they just that's listening to what yeah, the women right. have to it say it don't matter it yeah, don't matter it, if, if, you are, if you already popped your balloon it ain't like I'm about to like yeah. try to, I'm try not to trying to convince you I'm, I'm, not, I'm not about to put that balloon back right. together bitch no right, <laughs> right. no but in, right. and the name of the game is for them to like you ask them why they, right. It ain't like pop the balloon and just stand there and be quiet. If she pop a balloon, they asking you, why did you pop? What you want to lie? Yeah. Right. So I've seen men on there that they receive every bit of the critique or the criticism, rather it's just the they aesthetics or whatever. It. They, receive they receive it and they say, I understand, and they move on to the next person. But I'm a Leo, so I don't really like, bitch, so you finna- shut up. <laughs> fuck you talking to so you finna be like the ninja <laughs> so turtle why, dude so, why, so why'd you pop your balloon on Kodak oh cause you know he's a heavier guy fuck you bitch shut up <laughs> <laughs> but but even I was, but so even, you trigger I'm not triggered cause you trigger it, it's, on, I, it's only gonna trigger me if it's somebody who I did not even consider as a potential man. So, that's so going to piss them off. That's going to piss me off. That's going to piss them off. Imagine an ugly bitch telling you that she don't want you. But go back, there you. So they not allowed. Go back to what you said. They not allowed to have an opinion. No, because you should have no <laughs> opinion on that. me at that's, all. That's what he said earlier. No, he said some of y'all don't even need to have, but you shouldn't Keep, even you feel should the need to say the, You should shut the fuck up. Okay, so let me ask you, you this. took a you took a martyr to get here, bitch. How dare you? <laughs> but you okay? So let me say this. We we in a space in society as a whole where we like are against shaming for anything. You can't mm-hmm. body shame. You I'm can't pro, fat shame. I'm pro shame. shaming. Fuck you that. You can't I'm shame pro people shame. for their money. You can't shame them for their looks. You can't shame them for... You can't shame them really for nothing. So how is this ugly person or this non-qualified person supposed to know that they're not qualified? Because the way shit going, you. You, go, you get canceled. <laughs> and, anybody, like, anybody else tell you uh, in your life before, baby? I'm going to tell you. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna be the first person to tell you, you should not be talking to me I'm, or anybody I'm like. I'm not me. gonna I, be rude about it, or I'm not like. You gotta like, be rude for people to get the message. When I was on um, what's his name, Robbie World on uh-huh. his podcast, and it was like, do you like do you like fat niggas? And I was like, no. And, it, and then they was like, you look like you body shame. And I just bust out laughing because I don't body shame publicly, but. Behind closed doors, I'm <laughs> that's on Instagram. Fake. I'm telling your fake. ass down, that's like. Fake. But I'm not about to come. I, I told right. I said you don't need Wait a me minute. to come. You 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 don't need me to come tell you you fat as fuck. You know you you woke up. Fat <laughs> but as see fuck. how we put to I be fake. To, what? But why you do see? I need to broadcast it to you that you, especially when you didn't ask me, honey, am I fat as fuck today? I don't need feeling like if you ugly to me, you might be beautiful to somebody else, but you might not be. You're not my cup of tea. Right. I'm not gonna tell you. Damn, you fucked up. You ugly as fuck. I'm not gonna tell you that for what. You know how you woke up this morning. You don't. <laughs> they need don't. Me to tell That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. They, they, some they people don't. don't. But, but, but all right, I so, all right, so all right, I, got, I got a question. So, like, say you and your man about to go out. Uh huh. Baby, how does this dress look on me? In his head, the dress some bullshit. What he supposed to say to you? That dress some bull. I knew the dress was bullshit. For <laughs> <ass>. you, <laughs> no, what if you thought it was nice? I, I, that ain't I, I, the case. All the time. But, what if you thought it was nice? But but y'all, saying, y'all be a real cat right but now. But what I'm saying is, this is what I'm saying. In the world today, you don't need me to tell you some shit that you know already about you. But you don't know that I but know what it. I'm, but what I'm we saying. We don't even allow no, people to what, say the baby ugly when the baby ugly. But what I'm saying is, Babies who asked you that? No, if but if, didn't, if I didn't come ask you, Justin, my baby pretty. I don't need Justin coming to tell me that. Of course, you know, no, 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 what you know, no, no, you're not gonna ask. Right. You're not gonna ask that. What you're gonna say is, "Wow, my baby really pretty," and I'm be like. Now I kind of feel I kind of feel like <laughs> hey, everybody should know. Like, uh, it, like, y'all like, don't DDG? see how we don't tell the truth. DD, DDG, DDG get on the internet talking about you know being mad at people because they call said what they said right. about his baby, but it ain't our job to make you feel secure about how your baby look. That's right. how your baby look. You feel right. like your baby the prettiest baby on earth. That's, that's all, all that matters. matters. Right. You but need that's to teach what, your that... kid is what's in, within because not everybody kid is cute. And it just is but what it then, is. Okay, so you saying that, but then on the other hand, y'all saying people supposed to know. How they supposed to know if my if mama... If you fat as if, fuck, come on, you know you my, fat as But fuck. if my mama telling me I'm not that fat and it's okay and it runs Your in the family... Your mom's a liar. And we big boned and we... I'm just saying, this is what we up against nowadays. That's why I said I like them shows like Balloon they, Pop or the little episodes because it's, it's showing people like... They come People forward. really yeah, think certain yeah. things. They just don't say it. And like she said, maybe because it ain't being asked, which is it's just... Social skills, right? At this right? point, yeah. it's, it's bullying. Come on now. If, we go, if you walk outside and you you go to start telling <laughs> imagine, motherfuckers they're ugly. Imagine, yeah, we ain't talking up. about walking imagine, up the ramp. Imagine though. you walking that spot across the street. <laughs> You might you walking that spot across the street. Next thing you hear, pop, 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 pop. <laughs> Whoa! We ain't, we ain't talking. Minute, we ain't talking about walking up to random people. I'm saying even within circles, like don't act like y'all ain't been in no friend circle. Well, there you it, go. Look, I knew took, he was about to do that. I knew he was going. It do that. took a minute before <laughs> before somebody would told a particular friend or homeboy the truth. Like your breath stink. Must have like your breath stink, or bro, you ain't it, or you know, it can Hold be on. just anything. Do you, do you think like? Women's friends group and men's friends group handle those conversations differently. Because if yeah. I got a yeah. musty ass home, but I'm gonna tell them he a musty ass right, home, bro, but you about to scare the hoes. Sometimes hose. y'all don't though. Sometimes so they the don't. Re- the reason why yeah. I know y'all don't is because as women we make it around those dudes and they still be musty uh-huh. after coming from around y'all, mm-hmm. so y'all don't be telling them. Justin, you be telling your homeboy they be scaring the hoes. Yeah, yeah. I did. I, I feel like that's the first I thing they gonna tell. Them. Like we don't all been in the group. And once we left, I asked the homies. I was like, damn, y'all gonna be telling us such, such. his breath is fucking stank right. as fuck. They, they don't and they tell was like, nah, I'm just don't. I'm Bitch, you telling tell you they don't. Call this man and he got a up. He got his motherfucking call tell the truth, especially <laughs> if you got a homeboy that he probably gonna be sensitive to that. Going yep. back to what we said about the way society is, it's like, even if we dogs, a lot of stuff, you just can't tell a person they gonna get in their feelings. You gotta so it's like, out, just let bro think he's straight. You gotta figure out how to tell him, bro. Cause I'm, and be, That's how me, you say it, me being how you say it. Me being a funny dude, I'm gonna figure out a funny ass way to tell you Same, your breath right. stink. You I'm gonna a, send you and a, an emotional person still gonna. I'm gonna send you a, a, a gif of some listerine. You know what Smooch did? She what? went out on a date with this guy, right? Before she went on the date, 
when they met, she was like, uh, I ain't going to talk to him. I was like, why? She said, girl, because he got all this glunky shit at the bottom of his seat. He got a lot of plaque down there. I don't like that kind of shit. So fuck that. I'm not going to talk oh to him. Oh, my God. So I was like, oh, okay, cool. Fast forward, she was like, I'm about to go on a date with such such. I was like, the glunky stuff, him? She was right. like, yeah. I was like, oh, okay, so you going to tell him he got all that shit at the right. bottom of his seat? She was like, um, I wasn't, but since she said, yeah, I'm going to tell him. So she go on a date, and she was like, um, can I ask you a question? And you not get offended? And he was like, yeah, go ahead. And she was like, you got, like, a lot of plaque at the bottom of your teeth, and I don't like that. And that's the reason why I didn't call you or, you know, entertain at first, you right. at first. But I figured if you really wanted to, and we wanted to do this, right. then you would take care of that because I don't like that. Right. And what was he, his response? He was like, he started laughing. He was like, you the first person to tell me that. And you see what I'm saying? My job, First person to tell me. Yeah, he was like, my job is like demanding, so I don't really get the chance to go or whatever, whatever, whatever. What? And yeah, I don't know if he took care he, of it. What did he work in a coal mine? Shit. He, he but it, it don't uh, listen. That pilot. shit yeah. come. He a pilot? Yeah. That shit come Solo from people job. not telling. Do y'all see what I'm saying? It's a lot <laughs> she of. Did, she, that what he said. People don't be knowing because the people that accept them don't be saying nothing. And then society want us to like not body shame, mm -hmm. not say nothing, not. But this is the real shit that people need to hear to improve. Mm -hmm. I can't stand it. I he can't. didn't. He did not ask her that. He asked her. He didn't ask her about the tooth thing, but he did ask her why it took so long for her. So right. He, he asked, so now I'm about right. to tell you. But mm -hmm. even if he didn't ask, y'all don't think that that's appropriate. Like, I for if me, I, where I come from, I just feel like I got to tell you. And if, if this the end of you, us, is this the end of our friendship? Hang on. If, if, if I'm trying to go date you and you got shit at the bottom of your teeth, or you trying to talk to me and you got shit, I'm be like, no, no, thank you. What I, I believe in telling. If you be like, I believe why in telling up, I tell you? I believe in <laughs> right. telling up front. Right, if we finna do any type of consistent interaction, I believe not. If it's a one and done, meaning like I came to purchase something and I'm leaving. No, but if we finna do consistent business, I'm finna tell you and I want you to tell me. What if it's something that's like not it's not physical, but it's like something mental, like damn, that what you believe is not true and that's actually I dumb tell as people, hell. you know I tell people. You like that's some dumb ass shit you believe. I be the number one hated on people list because I I'm gonna tell you ass. You say some silly shit, some dumb I shit. You. Even so, like yeah. with home I'm even with homeboys, like it's a lot of dudes that they know, like, bro don't take care of his kids. And y'all don't say nothing to bro. Y'all leave it I up see. to the females to just talk shit about bro. Y'all ain't gonna, it's y'all really the closest, and he'll listen to y'all over it. Y'all just ain't saying nothing. You know, bro, cap. You know, bro, throwing money in the club. <sighs> you know, bro, spending money at the mall, like, and not doing what you know better than the females be doing, because you know, you with bro every day. So, I don't, and then y'all be I, I like, damn, my business, bro. I be, I be with some upstanding dudes. They be like, damn, damn, my business. All, all, like, all, my, all the dudes who I be but with. But you don't, you don't, you know what I'm talking I'm about. I, yeah, I know what type of dudes you're talking about. I know what type of dudes you're talking about. But it's like, yeah. I, I, I haven't been in that situation in a minute to actually wow. comment I on know. it. I would want to, I would ask you why you don't take care of your kids. How do y'all not? Even with even down to like seeing your dog just keep fumbling money, just messing up. Mm. And it's and you knowing like, bro, you That's need different. to stop spending on this, or you need to stop like why say something. I mean, I know people take on like that little Boosie standpoint, like I'm just mind my business. Like I seen an interview where Boosie was saying he was just speaking on like homeboys and how he grew up where if if a dude beating his female or putting his head, that's their business. Like I'm staying out of that. They ain't gonna make me like not like bro, but Men got to hold men accountable. I feel not like we doing too much of the trying to hold men accountable. Well, I, I just believe like it should be said. Oh, be, if you if y'all that's what y'all do. I ain't really getting into I, all that. No, no, no. I if you know, like, bro, if, be beating this girl and they be doing that toxic I, shit. But I you can't really be. That's what I'm so when do you start questioning your integrity and your ethics? It, you probably ain't gonna be a nigga that I'm around all the time. But right, I'm that's, a, I'm that's what I'm getting at. When do yeah. you start questioning? I like you from a distance, but I ain't about to it get was, into it. Your it toxic would shit. have to be because that's gonna rub off eventually. We gonna be in a situation where your situations are gonna cause a negative. Uh, impact on, on some, everybody. Whatever I got. Oh, y'all start that. fighting in front of me. You you say, okay, I'm gonna stay out of it, but now they over there on the side of you, like punching each other. Or, and or fighting. you if, gonna if 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 I'm hanging I out with you in that situation if, and, I was and you like, just sat there I, like I, I was like <laughs> they got on their phone. Like. I, yeah, I just got on my phone. Or, or, they, or if like, I'm hanging out with if dude, he ain't beating her ass that bad, ain't and she ain't beating that him bad. that bad, ain't but not. 
Listen. You said that bad. Them, them that, same bad. two people that I'm sitting here talking about lay it up right now. We they gonna, but listen, we they gonna come back. We know that part. That is, you know, you she, she, we know that part. She 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 make point. We know that part. It still don't make it right. And the bitch will get mad at you. It's not my problem. I'm saying something. She'll get mad at you and tell you to mind your business. And that's fine. Oh, bet, bitch. So next time he run him black in your shit, don't worry about it. I'm gonna mind my business. Yeah, or or I'm saying something every time. Even if you go back to doing, even if you gonna, I'm saying. It's just like if we go to the store, you still in the, I'm saying something to your ass every time to let yeah, you bitch, know you this way I stand. <laughs> Beating a bitch up, still not in the store, not taking care of your kids, saying some shit that I'm saying son every time. And if we if we really tight like that, you gon' it don't mean you gotta do what I say or change because I say it change. But I'ma let you know every time what well, my ethics, what well, my integrity, well I stay. I'm not finna sit around a bitch doing flaw ass shit and just be like, oh that's so that's, your, so your homegirl still out of Walmart. You telling? Yep, bitch, you dead ass wrong. If you go to jail, don't call me, ho. Love Dorothy. Fuck Walmart. You fuck Walmart. <laughs> you, what, what, it, Walmart. Ain't, it ain't about Walmart. <laughs> that, but, fuck, but, fuck but, Walmart. But, but Kodak, you know it ain't about Walmart. It's about the fact that you gon' you putting yourself in a predicament where you yeah, gon' you said you gon' mess that. your life up. I'm saying something to you because of that. That's what I'm saying. Cause oh, okay. I, if you round me, I fuck with you. I'm gonna say that's, something. Oh, all right, that's different. Yeah. I thought you were like, I'm about to tell you. In the business relationship, <laughs> when people be like, you y'all ever got ready to do business with somebody and people be like, hey, they scam. This person is scared. I'm, cool. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say, like, when we, when we link up, cool. like, I'm going to have my experience, but I'm going to let you know, like, you know, me coming into this with you, three or four people told me that, you know, you you, you be scamming bullshit. or they, oh. they try to do bit. I'm going to say, and if you never fuck with me again or don't want to do bit, it's fine, but I'm letting you know what the reputation is because you got to think, people be guilty by association. Yeah, you fact. already know who you roll with. You getting labeled like that. Yeah, that's fact. So if you find out one of your homegirls got a whole label, are you, are you addressing I'm that? I'm saying something. Hey, they say you be fucking everybody. And she's like, yep, I told you. I, I had to learn I, that coming to Atlanta because from where, I, where I'm at in Tampa, Florida, like, it's, oh, you know, Florida. it's Let's it's different up here. So it's a lot of women, like, they kids off somewhere else with somebody else Bruh. and they here to, like, make it and they don't interact and they don't, I ain't ethically, I ain't on that. Like, I ain't, so she I'm going right. to say something. She we ain't going, we not, you here for the uh, Nigerian dude to just get, get his money and trick or whatever you doing, like, that's fine, but the fact that you you got three kids, you don't never see them. Like they don't never come up here for the holidays. You ain't never going like. And if you feel like that's not my business, that's fine. Well, my ethics and integrity, and how I was raised, I'm always stand on that. I'm gonna say something. And if I your response is shut well, the fuck she, up, she ain't my I, friend, but she we cordial and she a hoe, and they be saying that she be she a hoe. Yeah. Like and a, if I like see you with like, 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 like she be fucking, groupie. like she a groupie and she uh, be fucking. So now yeah, tell the truth. Okay. If you knew that that girl reputation was that, and you saw her with her. Be see, real. Y'all would have no, 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 no. Oh, I'm thinking. They would have <laughs> <they would've laughs> be real about uh, uh, their assumptions. No, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Because I do not hang around with her for that reason. When we see each other Hypothet in passing, Hypothetically. Right, right. But but hypothetically, if they, I'm, I'm but asking them to be no. real, they would look at you like, oh, she be with her. She, yeah, she probably on the shit fell too. Together. Yeah, absolutely. yeah, absolutely. But, but I ain't, I'm not gonna be like. I, you know they be saying that you be. You know what? That, that's so I crazy because I just seen Bitch, this I girl will. on Instagram. <laughs> I just I just started it. following this girl on Instagram, and she posted on her story this other girl who I know be on that type of shit, and I was like, damn. Came for see, got her. she gone. Yes. She gone. It's over with. You gotta let it go. Man, yeah, you, you gotta, gotta let, let it go. go. You need that angel friend that kind of. No, 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 no. The activities that I saw in this story, yeah. Okay, well, that, that, to that, the game. Okay. But I don't think women get, I don't think a lot of women understand that like the people that you do hang with will yes. influence how yeah. people look at but, you. But like, you have, yeah. It very it much does. You. And it be the Absolutely. same for us. Like when we see dudes, if you with bruh, and I know bruh talk to like five, six hoes, yep. I'ma assume you on you that type of time. That and yeah. you may not, but we look you at with him, he be having two bitches at one time and Doing this, they, hey. But the same way men that look at us as yep. community, community pussy, we look at men the same way. Yep. You but men, but men don't care about being community dick. Nigga men don't care about until being they community wanna, until, until they want to. Until they say finish. Say until men, men don't care about being community penis. Until. Until. Until infinity. I don't no, know. No, no, <laughs> I don't no, know. no, no, no. So when uh -uh. y'all get to that, to that, that mental age, uh -huh. right? Because I ain't talking about the number, but that maturity level where you want somebody loyal yep. and in your corner and not out for just your bag yep. or some shallow shit. 
you do care about whether the female view you and, as community yep. dick or not. It, it's not how she view me. It's how she know me now. If, she, if we really talking, she she know how I am. She know I'm not really... She, the, the women that I talk to for real, no, I don't be around nobody. I'll turn down this place just so I can be by myself. So if I'm really taking time to be with you, then I really like you. Like It's to the point where if I'm communicating with you on a daily basis, right. I like you. So it ain't even no need to but question you, none you of that shit. But you care about her view because you showing her stuff Different. that differently mm-hmm. than what she might have saw on the outside or at an event or somewhere. Because yeah. when y'all get sick, just think about where you're trying to build your life to. I'm, I'm, when I'm you at that get point to now. that bread you want to be at, you you do care if a bitch around you and they viewing you as like a this ticket. certain type of dude because mm-hmm. they you got then you gonna have to protect yourself. Y'all know oh, as that black type men, of dude. You that gonna type have of dude. to like. You, yeah, I mean, you, I feel like I mean he he's successful with what he do. My, I'm very public, so women will look at me and think like I'm I'm some type of way, like I'm a meal ticket and shit. I'm right. not like that at all. But you're gonna find that out very quickly, right? Because shit, it's just how my personality. I'm not an outside nigga. I don't be out. I be at the crib. Yeah, High but it's something about a nigga that, that that be fucking a lot that just don't sit well with me. <laughs> It ain't. It's not what you do. Is how you. Which do is it. crazy because y'all fucking, don't respect fucking, the nigga. Fucking, 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 y'all don't, don't know it. Y'all don't respect cool. the dude that don't get no women. <laughs> Right, that's another thing. Y'all ain't looking for those type guys. Y'all, if, 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 if you've would, never seen him with a, you've never be, seen him with a chick. I would right. be perfectly fine not knowing your roster of bitches. Yeah, but no, I, I know but you be fucking bitches. I, I ain't into but that. I don't the need to know. Like, I can, I can agree with them. The average woman probably do, but when you like when you reach as a female a certain mental maturity. Right. I don't care to know no. your baby mama, your ex, the females you used to fuck with, the ones you was just whoop the whoop with, your little yells. I don't care to know that. All I care about is where you at. What you trying to do right now? Where you at with your life every right time now? We go somewhere. It's a fan bitch now. Oh, a yep. key key key, and then you done been around yep. every motherfucking yeah, world. The same yep. way when we go out, you don't want all the not. niggas no. to be like, "I'm gonna tell It's a mad <laughs> behind. I'm gonna tell you why though, and I don't know if dudes know this, but. Females use the fact that I used to fuck with him or talk to him or yep. be around him as a way to try to get to you or taint whatever your current day picture of that man is. Women do that all the time. Mm-hmm. Why do you think they want to tell shit and it be old? Like, she could be with a dude right now. I could have messed with him back in 2019. And it's like women be itching to let this woman know, oh, me and him used to talk. And that's the dudes corny. be like, man, that that's shit corny. was so old. But corny. women women be knowing. But, but if she I done could, planted the seed. Yes, yeah. if I could plant the seed to fuck with her emotions or her view of him a yeah. little bit, they be done drove a wedge. That's corny. Grown women be no. I don't want to hear all that. That's ain't no barbershop. Right. Right. Get your ass on. Right, 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 right now, right now, get your right, ass on, ahead. ma'am, yeah. please. Yeah. And if I ain't sitting side by side talking to Doris and me and Kiki Kiki, yeah, and, he, I don't and need you know to you know done fuck that girl, boy, you better come tell me. Right. Yeah. Don't let me just, don't let me sit here yeah, and be friend this damn girl. You right. knew damn well you was fucking her. Yeah, right. I don't fuck it was 20 years ago. You better tell me. <laughs> tell yeah. me. For real. So I can then make my, like, I can now see whether Dorsey fucking with me because she, she likes me, genuinely likes me, or whether she trying to get in somewhere and call some mayhem. I, I'm going to cut y'all. bitches be doing I, that. I'm, I'm, I don't care. Listen, you, the dude ain't got to tell me. If what we in is authentic and it matches what I got going on or what you got going on, um, sorry, uh, sister friend girl. Because if, if you understand, this is if we courting, like genuinely to be together. Mm-hmm. To This ain't like right. I'm just talking to right. somebody. But if I feel like we headed towards marriage or something like, bye, honey. Bye, girl. I don't give a damn. Right. That's it real, ain't gonna bother real. me because we ain't finna be friends no more. I'm going to pick a side. Yeah. That's yeah, our problem. That's we real. don't like to pick a either you with the nigga or you ain't. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. I don't need to hear all these other girl stories. I ain't got to hear like, nope, hey, listen, I ain't got to hear that. The moment I do find out from him or her, ma'am, you gone if we moving forward. Cause yeah, it's the, I, the I done learned the way that men before hoes. Uh, niggas, <laughs> niggas are no Kodak or done been that fuck me and you done been that fuck y'all ain't gonna stop being friends cause both of y'all fuck cause me. why cause women are petty why would I do that shit cause, cause, cause vice versa be, what she just said she'll stop being friends with me I'll cause me being and her friends. Fuck the if same it's niggas. serious not like oh I'm just talking to this dude found out she talked she used to talk no like if it's a serious relationship and we trying to move forward you don't finna be out of there. But what if I ain't, what if, okay, what me and Justin had going on was we was young. That was just that. 
But well, me if and you it, done built a whole friendship. If it's not, stop if being it's my no, friend? if it's not nothing, it's not nothing. But when you were saying like, if I'm in this girl face every day and yeah, y'all, yeah, you, yeah, you yeah, ain't yeah. got to tell me because if what we got is moving forward, I'm on. I don't want to hear all that shit. And dudes, this is the thing about men. I don't expect for a nigga to tell me because I know men is not finna go and just, babe, I got something to tell you. Yeah. The girl right there, I used to talk to her. And then the one I seen you with at the club the other day, I used to... N- n- y'all know dudes is not finna, me- like, Hell take no. the risk of messing up if they got something good to announce yeah. who they smashed. Especially if it was just... I ain't even finna set myself up to wait Hell for that. No. Hell no. It's I been, don't it, know. I just... I don't, I don't, I don't think I a green some... dude gonna tell that. Like I'm... a dude that just ain't even got no type of... Game. I don't even think he gonna go I home and like babe. It's, it's, once I wanna tell you I used to mess with Emily... Like, once it, comes, once it comes to a point where me and you, me and this girl done became friends or whatever, and you know you fucked her, I feel like it's your moral obligation to, to tell me, me that. Yeah. Like, I feel like yeah. you dead ass wrong, because I'm not going to let you become friends with a nigga, and I know I done no, fucked this nigga yeah. before. You not, I'm, what? I'm going to tell ca- you, and if you decide what that kind of you, friends? You, I'm, Huh? What? Cause you know we in the day and age, <laughs> bitches be talking about friends, and they nah, not. like, you my, you like, my click tight, like, you, you. We down there best friend. You already got a best friend, so I'm your second best friend. Okay. We like that. Okay. And then yeah. you you meet Justin, you and you like, nah, this my man, this my yeah. husband. Yeah. Bitch, you boy, you let me fucking find out yeah. you fucked her. You ain't tell me that. Yeah. It ain't oh, yeah, the fact that I'm yeah. mad at no, her. You did, right. It's, it's just, just the simple fact that you ain't have enough respect for that. me yeah. to tell me that. That's I can crazy. See that. I, but yeah. I, that'll I, drive a wedge in between. I wouldn't us. call but I, I agree. I just wouldn't call it respect. I just feel like it, it don't have nothing to do with my opinion. It don't have nothing to do with respect or disrespect. It's just disclosing certain information that may matter to me. I don't, cause, cause to some people that shit really don't matter. Like I don't, I don't had a lot of conversations with dudes that who they smashed is just who they smashed. Now right. there were key women in their life that she once really mattered to me. Yeah. So yes, I will tell you about her cause we really had some, right. but the average like black dude, they got bitches that they fucked and they would mm-hmm. rather not tell you not cause I want to disrespect you or there's some deep secret, but she, the bitch ain't mean shit. I was yeah, smashing them. But she, and I feel like that's how men yeah. go about them type of situations. Mm-hmm. And we be like flipping out, like you ain't. You should have told me I was up under her, but to to him, she was damn near a prostitute. Like I used yeah. to bust her down after the club. That was it. We wasn't I in a buy. It wasn't us. And I can I can understand that. Yeah, men love it. Because we it, got it, some it, niggas. It we done, so, so it, I mean, we I got some niggas. We didn't really mean you don't want to tell. Yeah, I ain't gonna tell yeah, nobody because yeah. I ain't. You know it what I mean? It ain't no nine. secret shit. Like keep it. Women be. It's like I rather not because that didn't even matter. Like. We'll start looking at like that shit ain't even count. Like he ain't even count. I don't know why you <laughs> ain't nothing to tell. If I feel like you the kind of guy that it ain't gonna trigger nothing, I ain't gonna say nothing. But if you my you my round and we locked in and I know what kind of man you is and I know you would want to know, then I'm gonna I'm have to tell you. I ain't, I'm not because I don't want to risk the chance of not telling you and then you end up finding out and you feel yeah. away because I didn't tell you. Especially Most I'm gonna tell y'all this. Nigga. From, that, you get what I'm saying? That's the kind of nigga I got. Like, bitch, you better. <laughs> You gonna fuck around and find out? Let me find out in the streets now. In my experience, from the type of like counseling and therapy calls I be doing, most people that have done what she's saying, it turned into something. Even when they was trying to be honest, Mm. and so when you when we saying this, where the people that's gonna say? I, I'll take that. I'll let you tell me and I'm not going to turn it into... Most people, they turn it... It'd be the end of the relationship now the because they, they start looking for shit. They start watching. It just turned into something. So most people, if their relationship going good, they rather not. Shit, you? Fuck that. Rap, fuck it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this bitch about to call all kind of mayhem. <laughs> nah, I'm good. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I, I, I got a question. So, yeah, but you you in a relationship? Mm-hmm. I'm so, engaged. Oh, she engaged. Ooh, I was like, damn, that motherfucker is big as hell. <laughs> yeah, I I that shit that that big as a motherfucker. Okay, uh, so I got a question for y'all. So, uh, Glorilla just dropped this song, that TGIF, right? Uh-huh. And uh, a lot of dudes are saying that women that are in relationships shouldn't be singing that shit because mm-hmm. uh, the lines are, I ain't got got no nigga and no ain't no nigga ain't got me i feel like that shit ain't really that important justin what you think about that shit no nah, i mean i said it's music you know it's a vibe so as long as you're catching the vibe you yeah know it's I mean? a vibe it's think... not really no shot what do y'all think about yeah. that like the the anti-relationship songs being sung by I, women in relationships i feel like social context or environment meaning mm-hmm. like like he said it's music 
So if the setting, if I'm vibing, if I'm having a good time, this is just lit music, cool. But then if, if it turns into where somebody's in a committed relationship and they playing songs like that, ritualistic, like this, they playlist to yeah, a team, it to the crib it's going to program yeah, you yeah, to yeah. operate or even just view shit in your mind mm-hmm. and have certain fleshly thoughts. Like, don't, mm. don't, don't. Don't deny that like words don't have power yep. and sci- through psychology, that's conditioning. When you yeah. repeatedly play and tell yourself shit over and over again, on the surface, you could that's be like, true. ah, that's just a song. Over time, it's going to condition you. And this is a fact for all humans. That's true. Uh, so it, I feel like it just depends on the context. Like if I'm at a party or, you know, we have a girls night or, you know what I'm saying? Just depending on the social setting even like at home at a cookout we just playing music but if this is like what you play in the house all the time it's on your car playlist when you're by yourself and this is just eventually your mind is going to shift in a different direction i feel like people don't be like to admit that mm-hmm. even That's shit you true, watch though. with these shows and shit watch shit enough fine. single girls <laughs> shows and you in a relationship you will damn near start talking in your relationship like one of them single girls mm. That's another thing yeah Honey. Um, I I got a nigga, so I don't partake you, in. You don't listen to that? Hell no. Oh. Uh-uh, I ain't got time for all of that. Yeah. But if you was at a party or something, the song if came I, if on, I was the at a beat party lit, came on. I'ma still vibe. Vibe, yeah. But as far as me doing that on my own time, listening yeah. to that, I don't so do y'all, listen so, to that. So do y'all think the music right now that is on some anti relationship and like fuck these niggas type vibe? Do you think that is why certain people have so many issues dating? Yeah. Yeah. I do believe that. So the music is the, is the problem. The music and then the um the perception of, of the people that's putting out the music, like with the lifestyle and stuff mm. like that. Yeah. You know, it's like, think about it. You see somebody like... Sexy Red. Sexy Red or shit, Carisha messing with Diddy. Yeah. Every chick ain't got access to them type of niggas. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But a lot of women that listen to it think that's what they want and that's what they need and that's what they try to get. Yeah. It's like, you ain't you ain't got the access to be they, in the room. But I'm going to do him one better. Woman they know they to. not finna get no dude of that, like, success financially or lifestyle-wise, but they will still play along with the things that the woman is getting. Exactly. Yeah. So now you got females in the hood that won't all of this stuff from a regular working dude or uh you get what it's like yeah. it just ain't, it's, we, it's making us delusional <laughs> it's the, and i'll be saying this all the time you can't get what a motherfucker don't got male or female right. you yeah. can't get what i don't got so you can listen to that shit all you want to if a man work a regular job paying it to his pension got bills every like you not finna get no four thousand dollar trip in the middle of the week uh he not finna pull up to the to lennox and just come out with you a gucci bag mm-hmm. or what and it don't make him not lit it just means you have been programmed to believe that these things are a necessity, but they right. don't match your reality. And then half the shit bitches don't be buying for themselves. Yeah. Yeah. And you don't look up, you don't, let me put my glasses on. <laughs> so, you can, so you can see the bullshit yeah, yeah, you're about to say. Yeah. Cause, and you don't look up to par. You don't meet the criteria yeah. of these women who are getting You don't have the these facilities things. for you that. You don't look, how, bitch, right. do you look like Christian? <laughs> do you look like right. Christian? Or do you look like Roly? Do you look like you don't meet certain qualifications to get this kind but of But now we're going back to telling people the truth. Who gonna tell, tell people them? The truth. Who's true. gonna tell? Because if you if you yeah, say it, if it. You, like when when this clip come out, people gonna be like, well, who the fuck is she to say that? Because somebody look a certain way, honey look good. they don't stand, deserve. Stand up, honey. Stand, stand, no, stand up, honey. not 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 how she look. I'm saying just the verbiage is. How she going to say that yeah. somebody who's ugly and her opinion or fat don't deserve this or who oh, don't look shit. like... It, like, they don't want to be told coming. the they, truth. Because they shit. feel it's like coming. women in general feel women who look good to whoever, me, you, you, y'all, women who look good already be feeling like they entitled to a certain kind of lifestyle yeah. from a man anyway. Yeah. So if you don't look like how that woman looks, who's already getting that kind of lifestyle... How the fuck are you expecting to get that caliber of man? Right. Because he's attracted to what he's attracted to. And that's not to say you're not pretty or you're not. Everybody's beautiful in their own way. You might, you're not pretty to me, though. Mm. I may not be pretty to you, Justin. I may not be pretty to you. Some men like titties, you know, like ass. So I may look like a fucking donkey to them. Right. You get what I'm saying? So it's like. You got titties. Every, <laughs> Push up, my baby. <laughs> 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 It's all I'm a dead. facade, okay? But everybody Cow. got their own things that they find beautiful. Right. So I, I for feel you to like say society... all of that is like, bitch, I, 
when we go to fucking Bahamas or we go over here to Greece, I want to see a fine bitch in a little bikini. I want to see a motherfucker. You get what I'm but saying? But I feel Facts. like since that's what I was saying earlier. It's like society don't want us to say what's real. They don't want us no. to say, I think hey, you're so fat. You're yeah. this. You, this is, this don't match. Even like, I seen a little clip and I don't know what movie it was, but, and I, I can't even remember. I know it was the, the, um, the actress that was in the movie Precious that yeah. played the daughter, oh, uh, she was on yes. the clip. Uh, Gabby uh, yeah, had a baby, right? right. So she, she baby. was in the clip, and it was a movie. But the teacher was, she come, she came in the classroom like operating like a bully, talking shit to the teacher. And the teacher told her some real shit. Mm-hmm. She was like, you can't be fat and mean. Yeah, like that, It's the struggle. reason why Santa Claus or they talk about fat people being jolly. Like mm-hmm. you can't be like I'm not dead. aesthetically pleasing and then mean. It. Like you gotta mm-hmm. pick a struggle, yeah, bitch. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? Either yeah. you gonna be skinny and be a bitch or you gonna be fat and be nice, bitch. Like, <laughs> you yeah. can't be a bully, I, we, bitch. If you say shit like this, people, yeah. oh my God, cancel them. You can't, you can't say right. that. Why are you body shaming people? But, and all the other shit. but that's not true though. Not, In yeah. the real world, that is, it's the same way they be judging each other on them balloon pop episodes interviews and jobs judge you the same way yep. so tell your kids the truth ladies and gentlemen where they, the camera at tell yeah. your children your the truth you will go to a job interview and if that shit caked up around your teeth or your clothes are too Wrinkled tight for your body or, shape yeah. or as a man the clothes is over baggy it don't fit the part they will not hire you based on your looks if That's you don't true. talk a certain way there's certain rooms you won't get in yep. these are the facts That's That's true. Fact. Yeah, everybody's true. not gonna win That's life is not I've fair I've been telling my kids that you, you, everybody ain't a fucking winner yeah, you gotta some have people it's fucking loose. And right. I know y'all see that in sports. Yeah. When, when it, it gets to a certain age, tell them kids the truth. Keep on talking about a participation every, every, trophy. Everybody get a trophy. That's what you said last time, though. He if your kids suck, take them out the sport. So take them out so the sport. Let them go. That's it. Like, you're wasting your no, money and don't, time. Don't, exactly. don't have me paying all this money to have my kid trained and all this shit, and they win first place, and now you got these other two fucking losers. They getting first trophies place trophies, too. And my baby played hard. You get what I'm saying? My baby went to practice every fucking day. Your baby didn't even get baby didn't even get yep. a jersey for real. You get real. what I'm saying? Because mama- in, in the real world, your child going to get told when they get grown, yeah. bro, you ain't even help. Right. And this go all the way back to when you little, the story of the little red hen, where she told everybody, like, I don't know if y'all know that, like that childhood story where it's like, it's the little red hen, she baked the bread. But mm-hmm. now, along the journey of baking the bread, she cut the wheat down, she made it into dough, all of this. She asking the cat, the dog to help, different animals to help. They ain't want to help. Now, when the bread got done, that shit went to smelling good. They all want them a slice. She told their ass, you didn't help, you didn't help, you didn't right. help. This the way life go. You not getting a piece of the pie if you ain't putting mm-hmm. in. You ain't so we gotta start telling. So, yes. so really, what we saying is, what we saying is, people, <laughs> is that uh, the participation award culture is ruining your kids. It is. We have a lot of kids these days that are just. Uh, happy to be in the building, but think these niggas just got a ticket, and they think they get, should get the same award as the people that yep. that, that won. Yep, it's just the way. Yep. Yeah, even with, yeah. with the music yep. shit, you you feel as if certain artists should get the same award that yep. real successful music musicians. Oh, the bar, the bar for music has been lowered. I say yeah. this shit on social media all the time. Yeah, the bar is. for for good music yeah. has been it's permanently. Too much, it's too much. But TikTok it's the same for shit. day in. Apply that with date. Like she said, it's females pull up because I look like this. No, I can't do anything else. Just give me this. And it's dudes that because I look like this or I got this, just be this. They how this shit work. Mm -hmm. Like I got to see some give and take, some effort being put in. Like you, this shit got to actually be something. It's some niggas who feel like they ain't got to do shit. Do nothing. Just Just give me some pussy because I'm so and so. Because I'm so and so. That might work with some people, but. I'm about to say, because sometimes it do work. No, it it, it (laughs) does. That girl who I was talking about. Like you said, the bar's been low. (laughs) 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 I probably could get some. uh, Fucking off of a name, man. Fuck that shit. Yeah, but I, yeah, but I feel like, yeah, um, a lot of times in in relationships when we do approach these people it's like yeah you you look good but what else and i'm not the type that i'm not and this is something that i'm not going to do i'm not i'm not never going to ask a woman what she brings to the table yeah, no. because as a man i feel like if i'm talking to you i already like you yeah right so, so i matter. already see i've seen what i need to see i've been watching you been doing my research on you i'm not going to ask you what you bring to the table but but what if a guy does that, ask that, I don't feel like women should be offended because it's not apparent. A re- I feel like a mature woman, mm. what I call a real bitch, she ain't fit to be offended. 
Offended for what? Right. Well, like, women get offended at a lot of weird shit. What? Like yeah, I, immature, I, I, I feel I, like I've heard, entitled, I've heard, immature women. Yes, but grown women. Hey, if a man is taking serious interest in you, because a lot of dudes that just bullshitting you, they just want to smash. It ain't even got nothing to do with you. Some niggas they just in a season where I just want to fuck something. Yeah. Right. But yeah. if a, a if a man genuinely takes an interest in you and you can see that. Why would you be offended that he's asking questions about what he plans on, like locking in and laying claim to? I've seen women get offended that a guy asked them like what they do for work, for real, for real. Like for that's dead ass. Like, yeah, oh, so what do you, what do, bullshit, yeah, what do you do for a living? <laughs> Why would you ask that, bitch? I'm trying to yeah. see what you do, like. Yo, I th- and like I said, I think the problem be they be offended because a lot of them don't know how to answer that. Like, so for a lot of women, what I feel, you mean? You're telling nigga what you do? Right, right, right. Or even with like, it should be that simple. Right, like, it I should don't be like that the simple. I don't ask what you can bring to the table. I kind of peeped the scene before, but uh-huh. in in the fact that in the case of men asking a woman what they bring to the table, a lot of women feel like they're supposed to bring. What am I trying to say? A lot of women feel like if it's not, oh, I got money or this. You know, I I may feel inadequate, but it's like you could say so many other things, like my 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 access, my network, my. So they assume you basically saying the women assume that a certain answer is going to turn you off. So I just immediately get triggered and offended because the anxiety of it going in that direction is too much. Right, right, pretty much. But I don't really like them. Yo, we need each other, bro. Yeah, we do. Like I don't really. Of course, I I feel like if a woman don't want to tell you or she get offended, bro, walk away, leave her alone. Yeah, Yeah, I feel like the world need hoes. I was random, but yeah. I was going to The world that. does need hoes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't disagree with that. The, the same way, like we said, there are winners and losers. The world needs hoes. Because every needs woman hoes. isn't meant to be like a, a, a housewife. Or every woman don't want to be that. Some motherfuckers just nymphos and they just love to fuck. And some niggas just love to fuck, fuck too. So Facts. we need like that balance. In the but at the same time, it's some women that like to fuck. And it's some men that will let their woman get fucked. That's but y'all know shit, what? I that, is some, that's that is some other shit. That is some other shit. But I'm saying, I said that to say, it's somebody for everybody. Yeah. But yeah. them women that might like to get fucked by a lot of niggas may not want the niggas that... Be, them niggas be weird, though, for real. For what? Them that niggas that... Into that type of stuff? Yeah. What? Niggas that like to see their girl get oh, fucked. Them yeah, niggas be weird. Like, you ever seen them shit. sex conventions? The niggas that be going to them sex conventions be, they be weird as fuck. That's what they, uh, I, I'm, I'm going to say this, though. I feel like whatever people preference is, that's their preference, right? Especially with your sexuality, with what you into. The only thing I feel like people aren't talking about, and this comes from my experience with talking to people and dealing with people with their relationship issues, their mental health issues. I haven't ran across anyone that in the end, after they've led like years of that, that it actually did something good for their psyche or for their life. Mm -hmm. Like it was lit. Don't get me wrong. They tell stories, two bitches, this going on, whatever, doing shit with being hypersexual. Yeah, being hyper. Later on, I have never experienced someone explain to me a payoff. Well, sometimes, from that. sometimes so that's male, a yeah, male or female. <laughs> like in that moment, they could tell you why they was doing it. It was satisfying. Right. But once they have aged mentally or even just physical age, I have met nobody that like, the women, yeah, boy, this did this for me. Well, sometimes that's a, that's a trauma response. The women yeah. start like, it's, crying. It's a shit. response. Yeah. It's, a, it's oh, a response. Oh, let men use me. It's a that physical bullshit. response from trauma that may have happened earlier in right. their life that's showing now. Right. Like I, you. Because now I like I've, I've never been hypersexual like that, but it has been women that I fucked in the past, and yeah. like I shouldn't, she shouldn't even had that access to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And but then, that's how the that's how the men be talking when they get older. It's yeah. like a, they don't regret getting the pussy. Like the nuts right. still felt good, but it's just the point when mm-hmm. they look back. I wasted a lot of my time, my yeah. years, where once I learned about building shit as a man, yeah. that shit ain't really do nothing for nothing. me. It's what they, this is what they say. I have yet to meet somebody that like, all oh, that fucking did me some good. Yeah. Yo, <laughs> like, what, what you about to say? And to be honest, I was just talking about, that's crazy, I said this. I was just talking about man the other day, we were talking about like where we was at in our life and, all, and stuff like that. And like, I mean, I got a girl, mm-hmm. right? But, I was talking about my boy. We was talking about past, whatever, whatever. Yeah. You know, nigga shit. College shit. Um, <laughs> he, we was actually agreed that, like, yo, moving how we was moving at one point actually jaded us, bro. Mm. Like, it was lit when it was happening, but it actually jaded us from actually, as, at one point, from actually taking, like, real relationships serious. Yeah. You yeah. couldn't trust nobody. He preaching right you now. You feel me? Like, you couldn't. You 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 didn't see past certain things, so it's like as I can see what they be saying now, cause like just talking to my homeboy the other day, it's like damn, bro, like it was a time we had, seen too much, but bro. now it's I've had problems in some of my relationships because 
of what I done did in the past. You feel and me? what so. you done, when you get in that lifestyle of people that's hypersexual, you see some shit. Yeah. Right? People yeah. talk about the shit they done seen, did. Yeah, that's seen what I'm saying. females do. Females talk about the sneaky shit they that's seen niggas saying. do just to be able to get out the house and fuck. Like, all kind of stuff going on. So then, now when it's like I'm in a different season, you don't trust shit. Because I done seen hoes cheating on their niggas, lying to their niggas. I done seen niggas doing this to their bitch. You yeah. done seen so much criminal shit in the sexual That's world, so to speak, that it's like, fuck. I don't know if I could just take a regular person, even though I know this person is not like that, right. and not, in the back of my mind, feel like I'm finna get Somebody some karma, or uh, maybe she uh -huh. just like that. Or I, I talk to a lot of people. They, they can't really get that off of them. It take a it's while. Hard. Like, it takes a real effort. Yeah. It's hard. Yeah, yeah it's hard. I, I, got, I got another question. I really want to end on this because I know people got things to do. I want to spin it back to what we were saying earlier, like, telling on telling somebody that they're doing wrong. Yeah, and I say, like, y'all got kids. Mm -hmm. I ain't got no kids yet. Yep. You ain't got no kids yet. Right. But I like, say, like, if you have a kid and you find out your kid is cheating on their partner, uh -huh. would you tell on your kid to their partner? Would you tell on your kid to their partner? Like, hey, you know, they, they cheating on you. So two for me, two things, right? For one, when I say I'm telling, what I was saying earlier is I'm going to confront the person that's yeah. doing the shit. Yeah. So my child, I'm definitely going to say something to you. Mm -hmm. Now, going back to like what she said, depending on how close you got this person tied up in our family, like you going to either have to say something or I'm going to say something and it's by my ethics. Because when shit like that hit the fan... The other person say the mama flaw that they be like, and your motherfucking son and your mama flaw, you the mama. Your mama flaw as fuck because she knew the whole time you was. Like, we get labeled. I, they ain't going down in my circle. No, you going to stand on some real ethics and some integrity. Like, I'm coming to you first. This ain't no behind your back shit. And if you got son-in-law all up and through this motherfucker, you going to have a conversation. Or you got, to, like, we going to have to rearrange some shit. Yeah. Honey, you telling her your son if he cheating on his... Nah. The only reason I agree with what she said, but is, I ain't saying just I'm tell. Gonna, you ain't gonna yeah, say nah, nothing. Nah, I'm gonna nah, I ain't, I'm a talk to him. That's what I'm saying. Because that's what she said. I'm a, that's why I said I agree with what she said. I'm gonna talk to him. I'm, no, I'm not telling her yeah. that my son cheated. Bitch, no. But because why? Us versus that. Because everybody. at the end of the day, like it's like this. Who your loyalty I'm, to? Yeah, I'm not about to tell that's my son. I'm not going to tell my sister boyfriend that she that was cheating. That's right. not, I'm not loyalty. About to do all that. Right, right, right. If my, if my son cheating on his girl, mm -hmm. and I see this girl over the house, but yep. I see the other girl he cheating with coming over. It ain't none of that. We ain't doing that. If see, it, that but, that's not what you're doing. You could you could do whatever it is you do because you grown. Mm. But at the end of the day, see that don't even sit well to, with her. You not about to have this girl at my house, and, and then another girl, and another girl comes to my house. Cause it make her too. No, I keep that shit. I, I don't. Mama don't know nothing. <laughs> I don't know nothing. <laughs> He's like, yeah. I don't know. You not smart. gonna bring yeah. these girls to my house anyway. Whoever you brought, you brought Dorsey to my house. I fuck with Dorsey. I built a relationship with Dorsey. That's your girlfriend. Right. She in the family. Right. You're not bringing Kim Bella over here to my house. You're not Be bringing Amber right. to my. You're not right. doing all yeah. that. You gonna keep oh, your shit okay. outside of the house. Dorsey cool. The other Dorsey home. cool. Cause that's your girl. But at the same time, even if I seen you with Kim Bella or Amber, I'm not gonna go tell Dorsey. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, you still my kid, and Dor Dorsey could leave you today or tomorrow. But who's still your mama? Yeah. Right. And then look. Be honest, that's flaw behavior. When you okay, so it is. there's the loyalty thing, right? But if as a mama, if her son was bringing me and then bringing some other girl, and she kick in yeah, with both nah. of them as mama in law, mm -mm. she flaw. You oh, can yeah. call it whatever you want. Y'all need to tell this woman she flaw if right. she, if her son doing that. And especially, this is why I said it ain't loyalty. It depends on the nature of what your son doing with these women as well. Like I said, it got to be like one of them serious relationships. But a lot of times that shit be hurting the man. What he doing to his life, you ain't being loyal to him by allowing him to keep this behavior up yeah. in front of you. Like she said, if you is going to go do this after I say something to you, like you going to take that shit where I don't know about it. I'm trying to like teach you behaviors as a, as a young man that's going to benefit you. Right. Mm -hmm. I ain't yeah. loyal to you if I'm encouraging you to yep. fuck your life up. Yeah. yeah. Yep. You see what I'm saying? Justin, yep. what you doing? Well, what I tell him, my, no, nah, I just had to holler at my son, like, yo, like, you gotta chill, bro. But I ain't gonna jot no down to his girl or nothing like that, no. Nah. Yeah. But if like, they just, if they just, cause there's a difference between, like, dating. When you dating, you, right. your son no, can I mean, talk like, to multiple women. I mean, women like, committed. When they date. Oh, like, locked no, yeah, yeah, like, the prom, uh -uh. prom right, date type shit. And you don't no, brought him around the family. Yeah. Like, family yeah, nah. function. I'm just telling you, you did wrong, you gotta chill. I ain't gonna tell on you, but 
I'm had to have a serious conversation with him. Like, you bro, can do whatever right. the fuck you want to do outside of what I right. can see. I if I, I don't see it, me. I don't know yeah. nothing about it. But yeah. you want to bring all these different... First of all, my son yeah. already going to know not to fucking play with me like that. Yeah. You don't bring nobody to my house that ain't the, the, the body, the yeah. person. We, you yeah. making don't, us... You, my thing is, you, you're you now doing something that doesn't just affect you. you. It's yep. a difference if you hide some shit and you just being a hoe. We don't know nobody. Okay, we don't know. The minute you start just putting that shit in front of everybody, yep. I done seen families like fight, separate, people go to jail over somebody bringing somebody else around. It's male or female. It ain't just dudes. They bringing two different women or two different dudes around the family and then not everybody beefing because they like family members flaw for... And it's some stuff we don't know, some stuff we do, but well, that I type like of behavior that is... More than I like that yeah. nigga. Now yeah. people key, key, key and yeah. shit. You know what yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. What you doing? You ain't said yet. Uh, I am. I'm not telling on my. I'm not telling my son. Nah. Uh, if he cheat, I ain't telling my son. I'm not telling on what, him. What? What? I'm what? What type of loyalty is that? Like, it's to my son. Educate me. My lo- my loyalty is to my son. So regard. I don't because I also don't know what their relationship may be like. I no, don't know. You I just don't... said it's a situation where you know, like so I, your son I, done brought it to the house. No, I, I, Dad, I know. This I know what I know that they. I I from what I know they like each other. Okay. But shit. He may feel some type of way about some shit she did in the past. Right. She may be on her way out anyway. I'm, it's, not, it's none of my business. <laughs> yeah, got it's right none then, of my business. Right. So it I, is oh, your business. Be cheating too. She might yeah, be she might be cheating too. Shit. She might have cheated you know, first. You see, right. this is, no, now this go back to what you said. They saying that stuff based on their experiences with people and other relationships and stuff in the past. Right. Like, where is the integrity for your family name or what you want your son to stand on? It's the folks gonna believe what they want to believe okay, anyway. Okay, so can no. they bring? Can they? Can he bring all the girls around? Hell like, no, nah, that's girl. dangerous. Yeah. That that is, that is dangerous. You that's why I said, so what, what kind of what loyalty about, is y'all talking about? I ain't talking about loyalty, but I'm saying my loyalty well, is to my, my well, son. Yeah, I did say loyalty. My and that's just like if you my sister. Mm-hmm. Dorsey, I'm gonna come to you and I'll be like, bitch, you dead ass wrong for right. cheating on uh such and such like that. Right. Da, 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 da. I don't give a fuck how many times you cheat on that man, Dorsey. I'm not going to him to tell him that you cheat. He, right, you but I, ain't, on I him. if we friends or sisters, like I ain't her child, right? But usually, if you shoot but it I'm to, still talk to right, you, about right? If you, you, you talk to me, you shoot it to me straight. It's gonna you. It's nine times out of ten, it's gonna make it where I'm gonna be uncomfortable with doing shit, shit in, in front of, of you. Me, yeah, right. and, it, and what it does time. is it helps her save her ethics and her integrity. Well, she ain't letting bullshit go on around her. Right. Energy is transferred. Yeah. So when you sitting up around people that's just doing wrong ass shit, and you think what what the old folks say you lay down with dogs you get, get up with fleas, fleas and shit yeah. you can't just be around people everybody right. just letting it all hang out lying cheating stealing and you think your name just gonna stay clean yeah yeah that's a fact yeah. and then uh, uh, for all of us here my understanding is we building something yeah yep. and I, I want my reputation to be off of what, I, what the fuck I did yeah. right. if you don't like me or you do it bitch is based on what I said what right. I did not based on what an associate or somebody else got going on with their bullshit yeah yeah I so feel- what you how y'all feel about like those girlfriends that's like damn near the daughter for real and still come around after they done broke oh, up. Oh, nah, yeah. you got No, roll. no. You you see, I'm going to stand on that the same way I'm standing on no. But what if it's the mama? Like, the mama, like, yeah, still, I like, like the girl. I believe it's the, 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 the mama doing some. Yeah, the mama, mama doing some. Right. 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 That, that go shit. on a lot in our community. Not Whether the son done broke up with you and you still making yourself known by coming around Baby, to the mama house. Baby, you can still call. Let me if you need to know the holidays. Ain't no nothing. It's over with. I'm going to say something. I'm you saying the, I'm the new girl. I'm there. Yep. And most women say something to the dude, and he be like, "Man, I can't do nothing about that. My mama. My okay. I'm, we finna have a conversation with your mama." Yeah, that's tricky. Yeah, you can't. You know, can't you, do that. You no. Because Hell especially no. because my family we is like are, real close knit. Right. Like, of course, we got different. Then you should be able to talk to her. Yeah. You can't tell if the family close knit. You can't tell me, bro. That's my mama. I can't do nothing. If y'all close knit. Oh hell no. Nah. If we yeah. serious, mm-hmm. you should be able to go speak to your mama. Hey, this yeah. is like I'm your son. What y'all to my loyalty to me? I'm telling you this fucking up shit with my wife. I'm a lady who I'm but what serious about. Mama keep doing it. She then some boundaries gonna happen. But gotta, if you close, she would. But what? But what? But what if? I'm just saying. What Ain't nobody else. She wouldn't. It's like what if my mama close, wings and flu. She not gonna do that. My, big homie mama is not gonna do that. My God. mama, my mama said she would. Whenever I would like, she would lose track of me. Not like because 
I'm a kid and she lost. But like, if I'm an adult, like when a young adult is yeah. like out in the world, right, yeah. she would be ready to be on some Rambo shit to come find me. Right. So I know my mom's not gonna bring nobody that's gonna cause chaos in our life. But I'm saying you have mamas do, do that. that. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. They you do have mamas she who do that. Yeah. So what if your what if the mama's still doing it? Even boundaries after don't have to be set. Well, mama, he don't yeah, got that so kind of mama. So mama, mama, mama boundaries don't have to be set too. Mama either. Yeah, don't play that. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be some boundaries set on mama too. Yeah, and there's some people that's not willing to set the boundaries. Yeah. In Tony Tokyo kind yeah. of moment, yeah. like yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, hey, yeah. Oh, yeah, your girl no, over no, here. No, he, 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 fact, yeah. I, ain't even, I ain't even gonna use them. I'm gonna say, what the hell her name is? That damn Kardashian mom. What name oh, Chris? is Chris? Yeah, Chris. Oh, Chris, yeah. Chris, stay inviting the ex over. Like, bitch. <laughs> damn. Boundaries. Some boundaries gotta yeah, be set. Yeah, definitely. My nah, mother. Nah, I'm just that. thinking about that. Like, damn. If like, There's some people Chris, going through that right now. From Chris Jenner's perspective, the old nigga in in the kitchen fixing up him him plate. <laughs> the new nigga in here, goddamn, just got his fate. Like, bro, that's unnecessary, bro. It's toxic as fuck. Bro, bro, where the fuck yeah. is your family, bro? Yeah. Go, go, go to your family. family. Yeah, yeah. toxic. Uh, 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 what that boy name is who Courtney was with? Dr James Harden. Nah, the, uh, it's a lot of niggas she was with. Courtney. No, the one, the sister that don't date black people. Oh, um, oh, Travis Barker. Yeah, yeah. she done got uh, Scott, the yeah. baby daddy over there. <laughs> yeah. Travis over there. That's just crazy. She, when I said the lady goes through the roster and the like, but you know what? You know what? It's that's, like, that's why good, you do that's that? Good for TV. I mean, yeah, but oh, yeah, yeah, and, yeah. It, and it could be just a TV thing because it ain't hard to see that shit time. is not healthy. They probably party to go. It's not healthy. Yeah, but it, yeah. yeah, some people gonna watch it. They gonna be like, "Damn, my mama just like that. Yeah. Like she, she, she don't give a damn what you say. She like the girl." Yeah. Nah. Well, fuck that girl. Yeah. Fuck <laughs> fuck her. If you say we ain't fucking with her, we ain't fucking with her. What yeah. you said earlier? Fuck right. that yeah. bitch. Right. We ain't yeah. fucking with her. We ain't fucking with her. Right. It's supposed to be loyalty to what you trying to teach your child and to them having a. a a life better than yours. Like yeah. if you gonna just be grown and, and and be a parent and then condone or be loyal to your child bullshit, they essentially gonna do some of the same dumb ass shit we did. Yeah. yeah. That ain't yeah. the goal as a parent. That's yeah. true. That For is sure. true. For sure. Another episode with the homies, big homie South got big homie Smooch. Honey, motherfucker. I smooch loves honey, nigga. Can I can I finish? Oh, we say say it right. No, say big homie honey. It big homie. Say it said big homie honey. Smooch yep. loves honey podcast. Right there you go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's on your shirt, bro. Oh. <laughs> that, that's that's why he knew he was gonna be on point. Yeah. <laughs> Cause he was gonna he could read now. Yeah. <laughs> he like now listen. Yeah. Smooch, no, seriously. Smooch loves honey podcast. Uh, of course, love Dorsey. How always you, a pleasure. How you feeling? Back in the yeah. city? Yes. You always been here working. I um I got an event tonight. Yeah. Oh, you don't a live live speaking event. No. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I just not, flew not, in. Tampa, Florida. Oh, yeah. Not yet. That's what's you up. Know, Atlanta's yeah. the new new the new Hollywood. Yeah, not yet. He got a Yeah, Atlanta's new Hollywood, so we're working on it. You did perspective <laughs> yet? Um, I did the first episode. We was on that bitch arguing, bro. Oh, we had man. to talk about it. Oh, man. We was on I did the first the very first one. For sure, for sure, for sure. Of course, my dog, Jay Carp, Justin Carpenter. So, Carp Tax Company. Thank you. Yeah, for financial me, services, yeah. everything. What's the name of the company, Justin? Carp uh, Tax Co. Yeah, yeah but it, when you said that, it sounds it all wrong so, together. Yeah. The company that's that radio. I read, voice. I, I read it like the, the IG name. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, the IG, so the IG is Carp Tax Co. The uh, business name is Carpenter Tax Accountant. It's my last name. So, okay. Yeah. yeah. And your sister's doing great, great Yo, things she too. She's in Europe right now on tour, bro. Yeah, uh, Rolling Loud, yeah, bro. Yeah, uh, Sad Boy. Yeah. yeah, she doing her thing, man. Shout out to her for real. Yeah, shout yeah, out to Jess Carr. Uh, uh, Jess Carr, she a DJ. Yeah. Oh, she, she was and, on, and producer. Yeah, and she, she produced and she, on Nicki Album. Uh, yeah. Bomb Bomb on yeah. Nicki Minaj's album. Yeah, I seen album. that. Yeah. Yeah. I love to hear good shit like that. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. us. Bump Bump, Clark Atlanta alum. Yeah. He had to turn the hat around. Yeah, he got to turn the hat around. Shout out to Big Clark Atlanta. That's another episode with the homies, and we gone.